Turning now to an update on President Biden's loan forgiveness plan. A federal judge in Texas has ruled it unconstitutional. The judge made the ruling after two borrowers brought a lawsuit forward claiming the president did not get public input on the plan. So what is next in this? Two on your sides, Danielle Church talked to an attorney to get some answers. So Danielle, what do we know so far and what can we expect? Well, Kate, we're already starting to see the effects of this. The Department of Education has stopped accepting applications for student loan forgiveness. Now, as for the legal battle, the Department of Justice has filed an appeal on that Texas judge's ruling in the U.S. Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. So here's both sides of that argument. The two borrowers who filed the lawsuit argue President Biden should have held a public comment period and that he can only enact something called the HEROES Act for those in the service. Local attorney Barry Covert says it's a law allowing the president to forgive debt during times of war or crisis. The Biden administration is arguing it can forgive debt for anyone under the law. Covert expects this case to end up in the Supreme Court as well as another lawsuit pending in the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals. Two other challenges to the student debt relief program have ended up in the Supreme Court. Both were shot down by Justice Amy Coney Barrett. Because we have so many uh, decisions, so many challenges nationwide, that one of the purposes of the Supreme Court taking a, a look at cases is to try to quiet uh, differing opinions uh, that uh, different courts may give. The disparity of rulings is not good for the judicial system to have different courts rule uh, as to the same facts and cases in different ways. So it is likely the Supreme Court will pick up the challenge eventually. Now, the key word there is eventually. Covert says it could be anywhere from 18 to 24 months before the lawsuits get straightened out. The Supreme Court has rejected other challenges to the forgiveness, arguing other courts don't have the ranking to block it. Covert says a predominantly conservative Supreme Court could be waiting for the right case to come to their desks before they rule in favor of one. Danielle Church, Channel 2 News. Danielle, thank you.